The Palestinian Authority and Israeli government have pledged to take action to reduce the surge in violence following a meeting convened by Jordan with the participation of the U.S. and Egypt. However, while talks were on, a Palestinian gunman shot two Israeli brothers multiple times while they were stuck in traffic in the West Bank. This happened in the village of Havara. Following the attack, a group of Israelis who live in nearby settlements entered the village and began throwing stones, setting trees and cars on fire. Will the post-Jordan meeting pledge hold or has it already gone up in flames? Our correspondent Jody Cohen has more. It was a rare meeting between the two sides following the deadliest period for both in several years. With the upcoming Muslim holy month of Ramadan and the Jewish festival of Passover, when many Muslims and Jews make a pilgrimage to the Temple Mount Al-Aqsa compound, there is potential for further unrest. Following the meeting, the two sides declared their willingness to end unilateral measures for a period of three to six months. Observers are interpreting this as the Palestinians not taking further steps towards recognition and against Israel at the UN, and Israel pausing both construction of new settlements and authorization of new settlement outposts. However, Gaza ruling Hamas condemned what they termed as worthless talks and the Palestinian Authority for its participation. And Israel's ultra-nationalist finance minister Bezalel Smotrich asserted that settlement development won't pause. I'm at al Menashe and behind me you can see the width of Israel and the start of the Palestinian communities. It's a tiny piece of land that's claimed by both people and this explains the geography of the tensions. On the plus side, these were the first talks in many years between Israel and the PA. Both sides affirmed their commitment to work towards a just and lasting peace. While peace is the long-term goal, the short-term priority is to prevent further violence. And the five parties said that another round of talks would be held in Egypt next month. This is Jodie Cohen for Weon, World is One.